The Kazan Aviation Plant, named after Sergei Pavlovich Gorbunov, will commission its main industrial facilities for serial production of 2214 passenger jets in 2025. This fact was announced by Tatarstan head Rustam Minikhanov in his annual address to the Republic's State Council. Modernization continues at the Kazan Aviation Plant. This year, the main industrial facilities will be commissioned, which will enable serial production of the 2214 aircraft, said Mr. Minikhanov. The Kazan Aviation Plant of today has its origins in the late 1920s. The company's institutional foundation is traced back to a 1927 decree that established a state aviation facility in Moscow, which was initially referred to as Factory No. 7 and subsequently changed to Factory No. 22. The factory was associated with Sergei Pavlovich Gorbunov prior to World War II and produced numerous significant Soviet aircraft during the 1930s. In response to the German advance that threatened Moscow in late 1941, the facility relocated to Kazan and underwent a reorganization as Factory No. 1, 24. The No. 22 and the Gorbunov name were subsequently retained. Kazan thereafter became synonymous with the company's identity. Throughout the post-war era, the Kazan plant continued to expand its capacities manufacturing both military and civil aircraft in accordance with the changing national priorities. Throughout the 1960s and 1980s, it underwent numerous modernization phases to aid in the development of large airframe programs, including the Ilyushin 62 airliner, the 222M bomber, and the 2160 strategic bomber. These programs necessitated substantial investments in production infrastructure, specialized tooling, and personnel development, which served as the groundwork for its subsequent civil aircraft work. The Tupolev Tu-214, a medium-range twinjet, is a product of the Tu-204 family's development. It is positioned as a domestic alternative to Western narrow-body airliners. The Tu-204 and Tu-214 variants have never achieved the global dominance of their Western competitors, as production has historically been restricted to a mere few aircraft per year at Kazan. However, the Tu-214 has consistently maintained its operational reliability and technical integrity. Lineage from the Tu-204 results in its robust design foundation and familiarity with Russian operators. The Kazan facility maintained the assembly lines, workforce expertise, and supply networks essential for a future revival by continuing low-rate Tu-214 production throughout the 1990s and 2000s. The Kazan Aviation Plant plans to initiate serial production of the Tu-214 by commissioning its main industrial facilities in 2025. This milestone marks the shift from limited, hobby-like production to genuine industrial-scale manufacturing. New assembly halls, outfitting and testing workshops, tooling and jigs, paint and final fit shops, and auxiliary infrastructure for continuous production are among the primary industrial facilities. The need for this transformation is paramount. The plant will now operate on a moving line model, which involves standardized assembly sequences, synchronized workstations, and an efficient flow from component assembly to flight testing, rather than isolated or custom-built airframes. The announcement will enable an increase in production from a mere handful of aircraft annually to a level that is suitable for the renewal of airline fleets and state orders. The renewed focus on 2214 production closely aligns with the geopolitical context. Since 2022, Russia has been unable to access imported airliners, parts, and maintenance services as a result of Western sanctions. Consequently, Moscow has prioritized domestic aircraft programs to guarantee self-sufficiency in air transport. Tatarstan, head Rustam Minikhanov, identified the Tu-214 as the most efficient method of re-establishing local passenger aircraft production due to its domestically available components and proven airframe. The modernization of the Kazan plant is not only an industrial project but also a strategic necessity 
that bolsters Russia's overarching policy of technological sovereignty and import substitution. In addition to geopolitics, the program serves regional and social objectives. It sustains local suppliers, revitalizes one of Russia's oldest aviation centers, and preserves thousands of skilled jobs. It enhances Tatarstan's industrial significance within the Russian Federation. The Kazan Aviation Plant has undergone a multifaceted modernization process over the course of more than a decade. The facility has undergone an incremental re-equipment process since the 2010s. However, the most recent phase, which culminates in the 2025 commissioning, represents the most significant transformation in its history. The upgrades involve adding automated tools and flexible equipment that will speed up production and improve accuracy, along with building new assembly buildings designed for putting together the fuselage and wings. The modernization of the plant includes the installation of state-of-the-art avionics and systems testing platforms that are specifically designed to accommodate the updated digital architecture of the TU-214. The management has upgraded the paint and cabin outfitting facilities to accommodate multiple aircraft concurrently, thereby increasing efficiency and throughput. Localizing key component production simultaneously enhances the plant's resilience and self-reliance, thereby expanding its supply chain capacity. To cultivate a new generation of qualified aviation technicians, the plant is also implementing a comprehensive workforce retraining initiative and an apprenticeship program. The modernization initiative extends beyond the physical infrastructure to include management and operational processes. The Kazan Aviation Plant is getting ready to keep up with today's aircraft manufacturing by using better production management systems, tracking digital components, and improving quality control methods that meet current civil aviation certification standards. Russian industry officials have developed a multi-year ramp-up strategy for the TU-214. Following the 2025 commissioning, serial production will commence immediately, leading to a subsequent incremental increase in annual output. The objective of producing up to 20 aircraft annually by the late 2020s is suggested by preliminary reports. However, the readiness of suppliers for engines, avionics, and cabin components is a significant factor in this endeavor. The initial phase is expected to prioritize the maintenance of consistent quality and dependability, with modest but consistent increases in output annually. A synchronized ecosystem is necessary to achieve true serial production, which includes certified domestic interiors, completely localized avionics, and consistent supplies of the PS90A engines. Therefore, the modernization of the Kazan plant is part of a wider supply chain challenge. The TU-214 aircraft is anticipated to undergo evolution in conjunction with the plant's modernization. Engineers are currently developing incremental updates to enhance fuel efficiency, reduce weight, and modernize cockpit systems. Efforts are also being made to broaden the aircraft's certification for civil use, which includes the potential for international standard compliance. The TU-214 maintains its basic architecture, and improvements to its cabin systems, avionics, and materials can improve its operating economics and prolong its service life. These revisions will be facilitated by the modernized production line, which will simplify the integration of new configurations into serial output. The modernization of the Kazan Aviation Plant is a significant industrial accomplishment for Tatarstan. The facility supports hundreds of small and medium-sized enterprises in related sectors, including composites, interiors, and precision manufacturing, and employs thousands of workers. The initiative will stimulate the local economy by generating demand for housing, transportation, and education in Kazan. It also fortifies Tatarstan's status as one of the most industrially sophisticated regions in Russia, in addition to its automotive, petrochemical, and machinery sectors. From a strategic perspective, the project ensures Russia maintains its indigenous capacity to manufacture large passenger aircraft, completely independent of foreign suppliers. 
This move is consistent with the nation's overarching industrial resilience policy and serves to fortify the aviation sector's sustainability. Despite strong policy support, a number of persistent challenges continue to influence the trajectory of Russia's civil aviation manufacturing sector. The initial issue is the fragility of the supply chain. Even a single delay, whether in avionics, raw materials, or specialized systems, can impede the entire production line as the production of modern aircraft necessitates thousands of precision-engineered components. Therefore, it has become imperative to establish a domestic procurement network that is both resilient and stable to guarantee consistent quality and uninterrupted output. Certification and quality assurance pose a significant obstacle. During the transition from limited to mass production, it is crucial to maintain safety, reliability, and regulatory compliance. Upholding rigorous airworthiness standards, exhaustive testing protocols, and adherence to certification norms becomes imperative as production volume increases. Market demand also underpins the sector's long-term viability. Although government-directed orders and state airline contracts are a strong foundation, Sustainability necessitates a more extensive level of commercial confidence. Civil carriers must ensure the availability of spare parts, a reliable maintenance infrastructure, and cost-effective operations before implementing these aircraft on a large scale. Financial sustainability ultimately forms the foundation of the entire modernization agenda. Predictable and consistent investment transfers are essential for the continuous upgrading of industrial facilities. Cost overruns or fluctuations in state funding could impede progress, extend project timelines, or restrict the scope of expansion, obstacles that must be meticulously addressed to preserve momentum within Russia's aeronautical industrial base. To overcome these obstacles, the government, Tupolev, the United Aircraft Corporation, and the Kazan facility will need to coordinate their planning. In conclusion, the 2025 commissioning of the main industrial facilities at the Kazan Aviation Plant for the 2214 signifies both continuity and transformation. It maintains a tradition that originated in 1927 when the initial Soviet aviation factories established the nation's aerospace capabilities. Additionally, it transforms that tradition by adjusting it to the requirements of the 21st century, which include industrial independence, automation, and serial production. While the 2214 may not yet rival Western airliners in terms of global market share, its resurgence highlights Russia's dedication to preserving and growing its aviation industry despite challenges. If the Kazan plant successfully completes its modernization and scales production as planned, 2025 will be a landmark year. This will signal the resurgence of one of Russia's oldest aircraft factories as a modern manufacturer capable of bolstering the nation's civil aviation ambitions. The modernization of the Kazan aviation plant is therefore more than a mere industrial endeavor. It is a narrative of perseverance, serving as a link between the Soviet aviation legacy and Russia's rekindled pursuit of technological sovereignty in the airways. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.